Hi and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to factory reset your M1 iPad Pro if you've lost or forgotten the passcode. A couple of things to bear in mind. First off, when you do a factory reset, it will wipe all of the data from the iPad. So this includes photos, videos, and the like. Hopefully you'll have a backup in the cloud or on a computer which you can restore if you need that data, but please be aware that everything is going to be wiped. Secondly, if you were signed in with an Apple ID and password, it will ask for the password, so please have that to hand. Okay, with that said, let's get started. You'll notice that I've already connected the iPad to the MacBook here using the USB Type-C cable. The next thing we want to do is a key combo to start the reset. Now, what we're going to do is press the up, down, and that's the volume, up volume, down volume, then press and hold the power button. So let's do that now. The iPad is on. Up, down, press and hold. You'll see the normal slide to power off. We'll just ignore that. I'm still holding down the power button and just the power button. It's powered off. The Apple logo has appeared. I'm still holding the button. And now you can see the restore logo. So at this point, I'll put the iPad down and turn my attention to the map. On screen, it says there's a problem with the iPad that requires it to be updated or restored. We're going to choose Restore. Next, it asks us to restore iPad. So click that. This bit takes a couple of seconds. Next, it says, are you sure you want to restore the iPad to its factory settings? All your media and other data will be erased and the newest version of the iPad software will be installed. So we shall restore and update. We'll just say next, agree, restore and update. Great. Now, if you look at the bottom here, you can see that it's downloading the latest iPad iOS. And this takes a little bit of time. As you can see, it's taken me eight minutes, but it may be different depending on your download speed. Another thing to note here is if you get a spinning beach ball, which just continuously, continuously spins, it may be that you don't have enough disk space. So check out how much disk space you have, delete some data or copy it elsewhere, then try it again, give both devices a reboot, try it again, and hopefully you will have this downloading sign just down here. So I'm going to let this go for however long it takes. Um, I'll jump forward just to save a little bit of time. The download is complete and now the Mac is preparing to restore the software on this iPad. And as you can see, the iPad is now ready to be set up again. 